Hey everybody, it's uh, September 16th already, Monday. And I hope you're into the end of the summer, back in the school year for those who have children and hope things are cooling off as well. We're looking for the Gospel of Luke chapter seven. When Jesus had finished all of his words to the people, he had to confront them. A centurion there had also a slave who was ill and about to die and he was, and he was valuable to him. When he heard about Jesus, he sent elders of the Jews to him, asking him to come and save the life of his slave. They approached Jesus and strongly urged him to come, saying, He deserves to have you do this for him, for he loves our nation, and he built the synagogue for us. And so Jesus went with them. Let me just stop right here, because he does heal his servant, and actually I had something else to speak about this, but it struck me this. Do our actions count? How we behave, how we treat others. So here the centurion, he's not Jewish. Yet the Jews speak on his behalf. He's not a believer. What do they say? He deserves to have this for you, for he loves our nation. And he built the synagogue for us. As they say, what goes around comes around, what you do, you know, and calmer. And I believe that. That he deserved to do this. That So therefore, we, some of we, we seek God's help, God's grace in our life. And we pray, which of course, I'm, praying is important, but really want God to hear your prayers, then who are you blessing? Who are you good to? Well, I won't say we, quote, deserve it, but that's the word they use. And I think God looks favorably upon those who bless others. So if you're seeking God's help in your life, God's grace, you know, what are you doing for others? Who are you kind to? Who are you blessing? He loves our nation, and he built the synagogue. Maybe you too can do others for other things, be a blessing. May God bless your life richly. Amen.